Uh, I have a friend who is contemplating self delusion. Okay. Uh, he's stuck in a rock and a he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Okay. Uh, right now, he's got into some shit with his BM, and basically the police, well, his BM orchestrated some shit, false allegations, like you guys always say, and now he's basically on the run. So it's like, is either he turns himself in? and see whatever they throw at him, or he's contemplating self-deletion. Carla, wh- where he doesn't want to go through that experience. Where are you guys from? Are you in, in the Caribbean? Uh, no, we're in Colorado. Oh, all yeah. right. Uh, what, what's the allegations so that we know specifically? They don't know. Uh, well, right now, domestic violence. Okay, oh. DV. Um, Some sort of domestic. Uh, okay. Misdemeanor? Because domestic violence typically is, is a misdemeanor. Uh, felony, for the most part, because he's on probation right now. Okay, so here's the thing, bro. Um, he's just going to have to face the music and turn himself in and hire a lawyer. That's really what it comes down to. And um, the white, if, if this shit is a false allegation, which is actually, I wouldn't be surprised, they'll do that, right, so that basically they can get custody of the children. So... Um, but I would say him being on the run is not going to help anything. And then, and then that might actually hurt his case because when you, when you are on the run, right, it, it can, it can be almost like an admission of guilt to a degree. So what he really needs to do <sighs> is consult with an attorney, right? And then, uh, and then facilitate turning himself in and finding the case. And uh, at the end of the day, bro, like it's not the end of the world. Like, yes, he, um, he might go to jail depending on, you know, what type of evidence they have. Um, or he might not. It dep- I don't know the facts and circumstances of the, of the investigation, but he needs to turn himself in. Yeah, Carla, let your friend know that this too shall pass, which means, for example, yes, he's going to go through some shit. No, no cap. He's probably going to get gonna put in jail as well. Yep. But at the same time, like, it's going to pass over. Or he might over. beat it. Who knows? Yeah. But but if he does self deletion it's a wrap. Yeah. And w- what's the point of that? You can't have a permanent solution to a temporary problem because this is a temporary problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? He can still fight for his kids. He can still go ahead and, and fight the case and beat the case. You know? Um, and does he have any evidence? Yeah. You know what I mean? The DV cases, a lot of times, I'll be honest, man. A lot of times there are there's some there's some cat, man. And the other thing too is that people gotta understand. Uh, is she's that, pregnant right now. She hasn't had the kid yet. Okay. So and he doesn't so even like know if the kid is how, how long yo, the kid not, might not even be fucking his, bro. Yeah. And like, has he thought about that? Like, bro, ah, like anytime that there's part. when there's issues like that, right? With the with with uh with inf- um with you know DV or they're having problems or whatever. A lot of times the women go out and fuck another guy. That kid might not even be his. He's over here stressing over a kid that might not even be his. All you, Trini? I'm Trini. He's something else. Okay. Okay. So yeah, bro, you need to have that. You need to have that yeah. talk with him. And you need to let him know. Listen, bro. Right. Well, of course, don't harbor no fucking fugitive. Don't be an idiot, because that's a felony on you as well. He needs to turn himself in, okay? He needs to hire an attorney. Well, number one, he needs to hire an attorney. He needs to turn himself in, okay? Um, and uh, there's there needs to be a paternity test done to some degree. Something, something's got to be done, because he's over here freaking out about a pregnant woman. That kid might not even be fucking his, bro. Might not even be his. Possibly. He's over here uh, freaking out about that. Before anything needs to be done, he needs to do a DNA test. No permanent solutions for a temporary problem, my friend. All right. And you right. as a friend, you gotta be. You gotta Thank be. You, you got. You gotta be that grounding force, bro. Nigga, nigga, you sound like as like as you. Well, <laughs> no, nah, man. Like I'm. I try telling him to turn himself in, but he's just like scared of the whole situation. I'm like, come on, bro, just go in. There's do no, a time, there's no come way back out. It. There are plenty of people right now who go to jail, come out, and be better. So. Yeah. Like, like, uh, it, yeah, he's, yeah. he's gotta, he's, he's gotta turn himself in. He could fight for a bond. You know what I'm saying? Like he, th- there's, there's ways around it, but if he stays on a run, it's going to fuck him up in the fu- in the future It's definitely going to fuck him up and it can be used against him in court as you know, uh, that he's guilty. Listen, take the L choose the wrong girl. Yeah. And the kid might not even be his. That's the thing that's killing me right now is that he's worried about a woman that's pregnant, that the kid might not even be his bro. True. All right, Colin. Right. All right, man. You need to you need to talk with him, bro. You need to like fuck this shit. Get off the phone. Find his ass and talk to him. 